You've been on record saying that the way the second fight ended with Duran bothered you for nearly three decades. And now filming this documentary has helped provide closure for you. Can you elaborate on that for us? Well, it was more so why he quit as opposed to I made him quit. And that always bothered me. Uh, naturally, as I got older, each year that goes by, I mean, it's been, what, 33 years? Um, but I wanted to revisit that, that journey, that moment, that time in my, my career, my life. And it was quite interesting going to Panama, um, a place that I thought was just totally against me. But when I got there, it was all open arms with the fans and, and the people and the, even the president. It was fantastic. You know, Ray, Stephen A. here. Thank you for coming on the show. Always great to see you, my man. I, I, I've, I've got to ask you, I remember watching that fight in 1980. It was sensational. Obviously, I thought you fought the wrong kind of fight simply because you were determined not to run, not to box. You wanted to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. You ended up losing that fight. You came back. And, and, and fought masterfully, which ultimately ended it with him quitting. I wanted to know what was it like for you um, just in the aftermath of that fight, losing the first fight, going into the second fight, and all the criticism that you were taking because everybody was saying you got mauled and you got beat up because you decided to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this guy. You know, Stephen, when I got to Montreal, it was like it's, it appeared that the fans were against me because I won my gold medal in 1976 there. But when I got there for this particular fight against Duran, I mean, I was taken off of the kill. And um, I was in awe of the whole event. I mean, the huge cameras and all the reporters from around the world. Um, it was just too big. I mean, I lost perspective. And Roberto Duran, he did some things that were got under my skin. I mean, he used hand gestures. He, he cursed my wife. He, he cursed my kid, he cursed me, and uh, I just didn't know how to handle that, mainly because uh, there was a communication gap, not being able to speak Spanish. But uh, that fight, or that night, I should say, I knew in the dress room that it was not going to be my night. So walking towards our ring, Stephen, was not a pretty thing, was not a healthy thing, because I knew. And fighters do know. They don't, we won't admit it, but they know if it's their night. Then what inspired you to do the rematch? And, and how did you get the confidence for fight number two that you didn't have entering fight number one? Well, I, I knew Duran's history. I, I knew that he had problems with weight, that he would gain an enormous amount of weight, you know, during, after the fights. And uh, I wanted to catch him off guard. Uh, that was my plan. That was my plan. And I, I called my, my attorney, Mike Train, and said, Mike, I want to fight Durant ASAP. And uh, the fight was made, actually, the fight was made, what, in five months, in November. And um, I made the weight easily, and uh, apparently he had problems uh, making the weight. Ray Leonard, this is Skip. Hey, Skip. I, I covered all your great fights, and they were great, which has led to an ongoing debate on this show. I believe that in your prime, you would have knocked out Floyd Mayweather Jr. in his prime. Am I right about that? Yes. Um, if you are asking Sugar Ray Leonard, the fighter, yes, I win. But if you're asking Ray Leonard now, the civilian, I have problems with that. Why? It's two, I'm two different people. Um, when I went into that ring, I was a beast. You know, I didn't smile or whatever. Um, outside the ring, I'm non-confrontational. I'm very low-key. I'm, 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 I'm the way I am today. Ray, let, uh, let me tell you what I believe, because Phil, Skip Bayless has a tendency to misrepresent my position. Let me be very, very clear. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? I, no. I know, I know, how, I, I know how great you were as a fighter. I grew up idolizing you. I saw you beat Tommy the Hitman Hearns. I saw you beat Marvin Hagler. I saw you beat Wilfredo Benitez to win your first title when Benitez was undefeated and he was considered a form of Sugar Ray Leonard. So I understand where you're coming from. But here's, here's what I say about Floyd Mayweather. Junior, I look at him and his defensive ability. I'm not talking about knockout power and that assassin's mentality because he doesn't have that. But I think purely as it pertains to the sport of boxing, the art, 
and majesty of boxing. He may be one of the best I've ever seen, and I don't see anybody being able to catch him and knock him out. Even you in your prime. To that, you say what? No, I, I agree. Um, you know, everyone has their opinion. Um, the fact that Mayweather has an incredible uh, uh, defense. I mean, he reminds me of his father. I fought his father back in uh, 1978. I knocked him out. But anyway. Um, <laughs> Mayweather, I, I am so impressed with him. Um, not by who he fights. It's how he prepares himself because of what he's able to do in that ring. And at the tender age of 36, the way he took apart uh, that kid, Canelo, uh, he, he's a student. He's a technician. He's an all-time great. But, Ray... Did you have a bigger knockout punch than Floyd possesses? Of course you did. Yes. Thank you. Yes, thank you. I just want to get that on the record. Well, nobody denies that. My brother gave me the secret or the, the strategy to beat Durant in the no mas fight. Mm. He told me to put his head down, make him mad, laugh, make people laugh at him. But most people don't believe I could beat Mayweather, but that's okay. Right. I'm okay with that. You know, I've had my day and his son. There's nothing else for me to try to prove. Ray Leonard, uh, one of the recent reports out right now is that uh, Roberto Duran and his camp are saying he never uttered the word no mas. He just was saying, you know, he just waved his hand or whatever the case may be. But he never verbally quit. Uh, you were in the ring with him. What did you hear? Is there any truth uh, to, to what they're saying as it pertains to that? I heard that same um, thing mentioned. Uh, but when a person does this, what does that mean? <clears throat> No mas. No, no more. That, that's it. Yes.